Hello there, I'm Mick Kopp from the Body of Christ, and welcome to another Leadership Reflection. Today we will be continuing our topic on the IPO process, so to speak. And if you haven't, if you're not familiar with that process, I highly recommend you to check this video out first, where uh, we'll discover, discuss the IPO process, what it is, what it does, how it functions in our organization. But today we'll be focusing on a smaller matter within that topic, which is why we don't do problem solving within the meetings themselves. So a quick recap for you. This is meant for a team setting where you're a team leader and you're working with a group of teams. So each one of the people in your team have a table where they are leaders and they have their teams. And this kind of tree structure can go down basically infinitely. But, um, you know, N levels, whatever. So typically the tendency is that whenever you face an, face an issue, so there comes an issue at the table and you're like, oh, we need to deal with this. The tendency is to let's solve it here and now. So what do you think? And the worst tendency is to let me solve it. You know, I have the wisdom and I'm so wise. So let me tell you how it's fixed. But that's extremely foolish because then you're using the intelligence and wisdom capacity of one person that is you, which is not very high capacity, although you are probably very wise, but compared to this wisdom that is embedded in your whole organization, your singular wisdom is nothing. And really it's not your job to come up with wise answers. Your job is to help other people come up with wise answers and help them grow, help them succeed. And because you're a leader, that's what leaders do, help others grow, not be the best people themselves. You know, the most, most wise, the most popular, the most talented in the table. No, you should be the most humble, most ignorant, not willingly ignorant, but these are the experts here. These all represent knowledge, wisdom, understanding. So, but why not resolve it within a TA? So, what would happen here is that, oh, we have an issue. What do you think? Uh, what do you think of this? Oh, I think we should do this. Uh, how about you, Marco? What, what do you think you should do? Oh, this, you know, uh, let's have a long discussion about this and, and deal with this issue here while this uh, gay here is, is like, oh, I have nothing to contribute to this. Like, this is so boring. You know, whatever. So that's one reason you don't like two people talking about the solution is wasting three people's time. But the bigger reason, I think the biggest reason why micro, micro level problems, I mean, especially within this sort of painting is waste of resources is that Marco here or Keijo or, you know, whatever, they are doing what I just told is really foolish. They are, as individual leaders, they're going ahead and let me show how good I am. Let me show how wise I am and give their answer. Instead of listening to their team and asking questions from their team and drawing out the wisdom from their team, they're bringing out them right there, their personal intelligence and wisdom. But what they have in their team is much better. So really, they're screwing, screwing the leader, of course, by his direction here, uh, by not bringing out the full wisdom they have available, but only what they have acquired in themselves, or like at that moment they have to give. And that's not as much as you have within your structure here. So instead of solving the problem there with this capacity of wisdom available, set it here and let these people give input. And then set it here, lower level team, and let these people give input. Get the wisdom, get the ideas from the people. And then once they have given their voice and their understanding and their wisdom to the table in a very effective form, you know, I might add, um, then you come back. Then this KO guy 
comes back and look, this is what my whole organization structure came up with. Every person contributed to this or whatever. Every person I directed to contributed contributed to this. And this represents the best wisdom available from my branch of organization. So this is like high value stuff. And then these guys can give their input. And if it's not good enough, they'll send it back and have them work it again or make it even better. But here, the wisdom that gets applied to this problem is like very much larger, very much more in depth. Plus, people get more involved. Um, these people actually get to contribute. They can use their gifts, God given gifts of wisdom, intelligence, talent, and so forth to come up with the answer. Plus, now that they gave the answer, once uh, is said here that okay, okay, you have an excellent plan today. Like, let's do it. Go for it. You know, I approve this. Uh, let's do it right away. So then this KO leader here comes to this table. It's just like, yes, we got the approval. Let's go. Let's do it. He doesn't like, and these guys already know what's the plan, what's going on. They're involved in it. They own the plan, really, because they came up with it. So here at the Finally, when the approval gets to the lower level, and lower only in terms of positioning, not in terms of value or anything, uh, these guys are like, hey, yes, we can, we get to do this plan that we came up with, you know? They already own the plan. It's already according to their standards. It's already good for them. So they get to go start, go right now, here. But instead, let's take... Uh, example, a dysfunctional example where the leader, the mighty leader came up with an answer, didn't consult his team, didn't involve the people in the process, just wanted to be the best guy and, and get the answer. So let's say that that, that leader was this Kayo guy. He kind of solo mission this one. And now he goes, he gets the approval for his plan and he goes into the table and he's like, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. And Steam's going to be like, Oh, what's this way? What? Why? Uh, okay, well, are you sure? Okay, well, I guess let's follow what he says. I don't understand what, what's this about, but, you know, let's go to do what boss says, you know. So what are they reduced down to? Just go first and doers. You know, I have a great plan. You do this, you do this, you do this. I do the thinking because I'm the mighty leader. That stuff really, all the talents and gifts that God gave these people. Mm, no, I guess I'll do it in the church service next week, except that I kind of do it there either. Well, I guess we got to earn money from somewhere, you know, kind of thing. That's not bringing out the best value for people. That's not giving them the environment to contribute to something bigger than them. That's just having some slave workers do what they're being told to because of money basically so not a good plan it, it, it gives a very different message it gives i'm the wise you just follow and that's easy for a leader to do at times if he doesn't think about it because he has the position and technically has the authority to direct someone hey we need to do this do it now but this is not the right way to do it even though you might have the tendency, you might have the opportunity to do it. That's why we don't problem solve in the meetings. Many reasons, but basically get the wisdom from the people and also get the commitment and get them to contribute and get them to shine, get them to grow, get them to increase, make them better instead of you. And really, being a leader in this system is about bringing up your team, bringing up others, bringing up the people within your team's teams, helping them to become better and you becoming lower and you basically facilitating what they're doing and also directing what they're doing, looking at the situation from a macro perspective. So I hope that clarifies a little bit of why problem solving within especially higher level meetings 
in in a very lowest level team that might be okay because then you get the best understanding available within that setting but within a higher level team problem solving within the uh, team meetings is not good but it's also important to understand why is it not good because sometimes it might be appropriate for example here i think anyway i hope you enjoyed this uh video and this discussion and in case you have something some experiences in this area maybe you have tried out something similar maybe you have made some good mistakes in this area i don't know it would be very interesting to hear your stories and your experiences in this because for me it's at the moment this unfortunately mostly theoretical because i don't have this large an organization at the moment but anyway, I find this very fascinating and I hope you do too. So I guess let's see each other in the next leadership reflection.